Brandon, thanks for coming in. We appreciate oh, it. My pleasure, Russ. Thank you. The question I ask everybody who's sitting in that seat, why do you want to be mayor? Why? That's a very good question. Well, working after, uh, after a couple of years of working side by side with a lot of Cleveland residents at Edwin's, the nonprofit that I created, I really started to see the, the troubles that play our community. I saw how deep they were, I saw how um, long lasting they were, and how they had an effect uh, not just on students of Edwin's, uh, but Cleveland, the region, and our reputation nationwide. And I said, you know what, if you invest in someone's potential like we have been at Edwin's, you can make a difference. When you look at the city as a whole, what's the biggest issue that you think is facing Cleveland? Yeah, I'd say it's two big issues right now. And I can tell you yesterday, 17 people uh, taken to the hospital for opioid overdoses. And then people shot. A good friend of mine, Akeen from Zanzibar, shot twice in the leg. This happens yesterday. And this is happening on a daily basis. So I'd say it's safety, safety, safety. That's got to be the biggest issue right now. When you look at uh, the landscape in Cleveland, I think there's 17 of you uh, <laughs> running at this, there's quite a few. There's more. <laughs> at this point mm -hmm. for mayor. How do you set yourself apart in that pack? Well, it's a good question, too. Uh, I'd say, first of all, I'm the only one, along with uh, Jeff Johnson, on the ballot for uh, candidate mayor of Cleveland. So there's a lot of people still trying to get signatures. Uh, but what separates uh, you know, any of us is, one, um, someone who's actually put people back to work shoulder to shoulder. There's no one else who can claim to have uh, built a job creation center or model uh, that's become a nationally recognized and, and done that from the ground up. Um, also, I've got a very tech forward agenda. You know, I believe that when it comes to safety, when it comes to education, technology can help bridge the gaps to solving these problems. Mayor Jackson, of course, has been mayor of the city of Cleveland for 12 years. He's a yes. known quantity. Uh, he, again, of course, he's on the ballot this year. Mm -hmm. uh, what is he not doing that you think you can do better? Well, I think uh, quite a bit, quite a bit. I mean, the first is a sense of urgency. It's, uh, you know, it's getting aggressive and tackling these problems and doing it uh, with a high standard and not settling for mediocrity. Uh, two, it's, it's being dynamic and thinking creatively. So, you know, if something doesn't work, you know, such as our, our crime problem that we have, we've had over 100 plus homicides in the last four years and it continues to climb. So what we're doing now is not working. We can't be afraid to try different models like they are in Tallahassee, like they are in Pittsburgh and throughout the country to solve our problems. So, I mean, first and foremost, it's making sure we're urgent and making sure that we fight and not lay up and say that, hey, you know, it is what it is. In fact, it, um, you know, we could be an amazing city if we start to use our resources that we already have here. This is this your first run for first public run. office? Yes, it is. Why now? Why? Well, I couldn't take it anymore, to be honest with you, Russ. Um, you know, buried one student, you know, because of violence, um, another one because of overdoses. Um, I saw that there was a solution to this problem. And when I heard, uh, you know, the, the candidates in the ring and I heard the mayor's, uh, you know, lackluster announcement, I said to myself, you know, this is not the same man that has been running our city. You know, he has changed. And it's, uh, it's a change that's got to stop. It's, uh, it's important that we pave the way in our future. And using what we have, the universities, the brain trust, and all this uh, you know, passion we have in the pride of Cleveland uh, to become better. And I said, now is the time. We're on the brink of exploding in this town. When your opponents say, and you, they have said, and will continue sure. to say again, Brandon Krastowski has no experience yeah. at all in this. Uh, what makes him qualified to be mayor of the city of Cleveland? That's true. And I, and I continue to say the same thing. Thank you. <laughs> I lack the political stain, and I have, um, I have a track record for putting people back to work. And I've done that, you know, with the people. I'm connected. And not only, it wasn't just a restaurant, you know, Russ. This is, this is a nonprofit that, that's expanded not just to the restaurant, but to a program and to four different buildings on Buckeye and South Moreland for our campus. And if you talk about solving problems with, uh, with a very, you know, aggressive approach and a sense of urgency and dynamic way of thinking, bridging private sector, public sector, philanthropic sector, uh, you know, I, I look at the city of Cleveland and say, isn't that the same thing we need to do right here and now? is use all those resources and combine them for the greater good of Cleveland. To me, I think that's, uh, you know, that's a stamped uh, validation that I am prepared. People know you from Edwin's. People know yeah. what you've done in the community. What do you want people to know about you that perhaps they don't know thus far? Um, well, a couple things. One, um, I, I, a lot of people think I'm a man of means. I'm just like everyone else, believe it or not. I said I'm just out there trying to make things happen for the betterment of the people. I'm a husband and father, and what they don't know, because it just happened yesterday, is that we just gave birth to a baby girl. Not me, my wife, and I'm so proud of you, baby. That was tough. She did it naturally, all natural birth. Wow. So when I think about running for the city of Cleveland, how hard that's going to hurt, I say, my wife just did it already. Well, congratulations on the baby. Thank you very much. And thank you for coming, and we'll talk to you as we move forward. Thanks, Russ. <laughs> I appreciate it.